Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my name is Saleh Furpan. I'm a first year incoming uh, computer science and engineering student at the Chinese University of Hong Kong and I'm a former student of Teacher Salmas. I have completed 10 IGCSEs with 7 9s and 8 an A star in computer science and an A and 5 A levels with 4 A stars and an A. I love coding and programming. I'm proficient in uh, several programming languages such as Python, JavaScript, and C. Inshallah, I'll go through this uh, pre-release material for the Cambridge IGCSEE Computer Science Paper 2, and we'll go through tasks 1, 2, and 3. I'll try to explain the code and the algorithms behind it in a clear and concise manner, but if there are any questions, don't hesitate to ask them down below. Let's go. So today we'll do the Cambridge IGCSE Computer Science Paper 2 pre-release material for October November of 2022. This pre-release material, the code we're supposed to design, is about uh, memberships and audits in a swimming club. So we need to enter members, their names, age, membership types, annual fees, etc. So they will actually show us here. In a major gender type membership, whether team member or not, and the fee if the fee has been paid, and team members are allowed a discount of 10% on their annual membership fees. So we're going to write a code. Our code will include prompts for the entry of data. Data must be validated. All outputs need to be set out clearly and understandably. All variables, constants, and other identifiers need to have meaningful names. So task one which is storing the member details in arrays, populating the arrays with at least 20 membership details, and using the array index as the annual membership number. So, firstly, we're going to store details in arrays. What types of arrays? Name, age, gender, so all these. Validate all inputs, number of users. So let's start. Okay, so the arrays that are going to be are index, names, ages, genders, type memberships, annual fees, team members, or, and is uh, fees paid. Index is actually not required. I'm just using it to simplify my code. Not simplify, to explain my code better. You don't need it. You just need name, age, gender, type membership, etc. So these are the empty arrays where each uh, user detail is going to be entered. And the part over here, which they talk about, use the array index as the annual membership number. What that basically means is each data type that we enter here, the, uh, the index will be same for each user. So let's say index is 1, name is Saleh, age is 19, gender is male, blah, 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 blah. So all the uh, details are index of zero. So names, zero is Saleh, ages, zero is 19, genders, zero is male. So for each of those, if you say names, zero, ages, zero, genders, zero. So all these indexes of zero talk about a specific person and etc. So the second index, let's say two, and then we enter another name, Ahmed. So uh, this way, the second user, so Ahmed, will have names one, ages one, genders one. Okay, so the second part of our code, what we need to do is populate the arrays with at least 20 member details. So for the sake of making our code simple, we'll use four members details because I don't want to enter all 20 members and their ages and genders and if they're team members or not. So we'll simplify it to four. The way we can do it in Python is we can ask the user for how many members are there. So we actually this. First, we'll print annual audit. Please fill in all the details as asked. Num of members will be an integer and the input is how many members are to be audited and to make sure they're at least greater than four we use a while loop while number of uh, members is less than four print please enter at least four members and then we ask uh, or prompt the user to enter them again so let's run this and show you how it's done how many members are to be audited if i say one 
the while loop will make sure because it's less than four it will print this and i'll get an input again prompted again two again three again four and the code ends at four so that's step one done we made sure that at least 20 members are there now for each of those members as i talked about earlier each of the index in these arrays is going to be about a specific user so how can we enter each uh, member's details in a specific index we use a for loop so for for i in range not len because this is already an integer let's just clear for range and num of members now for i in range so i will be zero we'll enter all the details for the first uh, index of zero and then when it runs again it will be one we'll enter again and then so the first type of uh, input that we need actually is name for the user so for name this is what i use for name name equals to input enter members name while the length of name is less than five or length of name is greater than 20 this is validation to make sure that the name is valid uh, the characters are valid print name as incorrect number of characters please enter between 5 to 20 cars uh, chars and the name again will ask please enter members name so while loops will actually help us make sure that the user enters uh, a valid out uh, input so they will keep running as long uh, whenever a user enters an invalid input and will only stop when the input value is correct so that's names we make sure that uh, don't confuse the name of the arrays with the name of the inputs the arrays are plural so names ages genders types memberships etc but over here the inputs are going to be singular name because we're going to run for i in range so now we do with gender gender equals input enter members gender while gender is not male and gender is not female so again we're using this while loop to make sure the gender is male or is female because the only way gender is not male and is not female means that the input entered is incorrect so we print incorrect gender please enter either male or female and gender equals to input and uh, members gender so name and gender are done the next step is age now for age i wrote this code to make sure that the age entered is actually an integer we could have done the same thing for a uh, number of members but just to show how it works age equals input and members age while age dot is digit is is uh, false which is digit basically means we are checking the input value if it contains digits or not if all of it is a digit so if let's say i entered one as zero uh, o and e it will be false because age dot is digit is false it will run print invalid age try again and then you uh, the user has to uh, input age again until unless the user enters a valid integer so the next step now that we actually entered an uh, age that is an integer we need to make sure that the data type is an integer because python in python all inputs are considered strings until you convert them into integers so what i do over here age equals int age so whatever value of age that i had i converted it into an integer and then because over here as we can see a member's age actually affects their membership and the annual fee if they're between 2 and 18 they will be a junior member and have to pay 10 if between 18 and 50 they're an adult and pay 20 between 50 and 80 they're senior and pay 15 so with this logic we use an if statement so we know that the age is an integer now we check if age is less than 18 and age is greater than 2 the user will be a junior member and their annual fee will be 10 l if age less than 50 and greater than 18 adult annual fee 20 l if age less than 80 greater than 50 type membership senior annual fee 15 and else wherever else is left because from 2 till 80 whatever is greater than that 
membership will be golden and annual fee will be zero so with this we have name we have gender we have age we have type membership we have annual fee the next step because as they talked about earlier annual fee depends on whether the uh, member is team member as well or not because if the member is also a team member they get a discount of 10 percent discount of 10 percent means that the price is 0 0.9 of the original so what we can do is is team member equals input is member a team member and if is team member equals equals yes which makes sure that the input is yes then team member is a team member and annual fee will be annual fee times 0 0.9 else whatever if we enter anything other than yes this way we could enter yeah or no or never anything else even a zero team member will be not team member so that's team member the other step the last step is is fee paid so here is fee paid input has member paid if is fee paid yes then fee paid is paid else fee paid is not yet paid so now we've entered in all the details that we need each time the the loop runs the four loop runs in an i so range number of members if we enter four each time i uh, for each i in four we enter a name gender age and then is team member is fee paid now what we need to do is actually append all these details inside our original uh, arrays so so we did it here index dot append user bracket format i plus one so we didn't actually need this i use this to uh, help clear out the code so these brackets dot format i plus one basically means whatever input value uh, whatever uh, value of i plus one is will automatically be formatted here so user when i starts at zero zero plus one is one so user number one names dot append name ages dot append age genders dot append gender type memberships dot append type membership Team members dot append team member annual fees dot append annual fee and fees paid dot append fee paid. So for each of the users, the same index. So the index of I will contain all their details, and that's it. So we've basically stored in. We've done everything in uh, task one. Now just to make things clear, so that when I finish the task, I can show you how the details are entered. I'll show it. In a printed form so what I can is this print enter new member that's still inside the code and outside the code for I in range number of members print index I names I ages I genders I I I I and then this so now let's run this code let's execute it how many members so for each of the inputs I'll try to uh, show you how they're validated so how many let's just say two incorrect so four now enter member's name. Now let's check if it checks uh, the name is valid or not. So between 5 and 20, let, what if the character is 3? Joe. Ah, name is incorrect number of characters. Please enter between 5 and 20. So Joe Biden. That's correct. Enter member's gender. Ma. Incorrect gender. Male. That's correct. Enter age. SS. Invalid age. So I don't know what his age is. Let's say 80. That's correct. Is team member? Yes. Has a member paid? Yes. Enter a new member. Sorry. Male. 19. Team member? Yes. Yes. Zainab. 12 years old. Female. Members. Oh. Enter members age. Also for gender, yeah, I got confused. So age is 12 years old. Team member, no. Has member paid? No. Ahmed is a male. Is, let's say he's 50. No, let's say 70. Is member a team member? No. And no. Now, this is what happens. User 1, Joe Biden, 80, male, golden, team member, 0.0, .0 paid. So all the details for each user are printed out by this form. We could make it cleaner, of course, 
we could have added commas that actually show up but I chose this to show how this is actually working. So user one, Joe Biden, he's 80, he's male, team member is golden, uh, team membership type is golden, is a team member 0.0, .0 because it's golden and he's paid. User two, Salih 90, male, adult, team member 18, paid. User three, Zain of 12, female, junior, not team member 10 and not yet paid. User four, Ahmed 70, male, senior, not team member, 15, not yet paid. So uh, that's it for task one and we'll do task two after this one.